Hi, in this tutorial I'll introduce you to Page Plus and show you how to quickly create your first publication using one of the professionally designed theme layout templates. When you first open Page Plus, you'll be greeted by the startup wizard. From here, you can create new publications, open existing or recent publications, and access the online tutorials. I'll click the Use Design Template option. In the dialog, you can open any of the existing templates or theme layouts. For now, I'll select the Nature theme layout. As you can see, this contains many document types. To select a document, click on its thumbnail and, if available, select the page options you require from the rightmost pane. You can also select a different colour scheme from the drop-down menu. When you click OK, the document opens. Many documents use user details. These allow you to store frequently used information to save time when creating future documents. Click Update to update the template with the relevant information. Now, I'll introduce the workspace. At the top, you'll find the main menus, the standard toolbar, and the dynamic context toolbar. On the left is the tools toolbar and the assets and how to tab. In the middle is the page area. We have the commonly used tabs on the right and the hint line toolbar at the bottom. This provides useful hints and tips whenever you hover over or select tools and objects. Let's now edit some of the existing page objects. With the pointer tool selected, I can simply click inside a text box to select it. Then, I can click and drag across the text to select that. When I type my new text, the existing text is replaced. Now, I'll add a picture to the frame. Again, I'll click the frame to select it. Notice that a button appears beneath the bounding box. If I click the button, I can now browse to a picture and add it. It's also possible to adjust the position of a picture within the frame by using the picture controls that display once a picture is added. If I have a lot of pictures to use in my publication, I can add them to the Assets tab. Click the Add button, browse the pictures and select the thumbnails, then click Open. The pictures are displayed in the tab. I can now add them to a frame by drag and drop. To navigate between pages, I just double click on the page thumbnail in the Pages tab. I'll just add a picture to this empty frame as well. Finally, I can change the colour scheme by selecting one from the Schemes tab. Notice that many of the objects change colour. For more information, please see the How To tab, the Help or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.